So I decided to film a couple of videos. The first one being a review of the Deadlock Trilogy by P.T. Hilton, which should be up by now. But I filmed it the first time, and it was like 14 minutes and 23 seconds long. Now, I typically don't script out my videos, I just kind of ramble and ramble. And I got done with it, and so I was 14 minutes and 23 seconds, and was like, I could probably go back, be a little bit more concise, and trim a few minutes off of that. Now, because I know it's not going to be 14 minutes when I publish it, there's probably about 6 minutes of me just staring dumbly into space trying to figure out what I want to say or how I want to say it. But still, I do put an effort into baking as concise the videos as possible. Anyways, I refilm it as being more concise and all this and get done with it and it's 14 minutes and 13 seconds. 10 seconds was all I cut off of it. I do apologize if my videos are a little bit on the long side. I, I, just, I just can't help it evidently. This one is also going to be probably a little bit longer of a video because it's going to be a book haul video. So let's get into it. Uh, the first three are books that I got for free because there's a used bookstore, Second and Charles, which they obviously buy used books and movies and stuff like that. But if they can't offer you any money or credit, you have the option of donating them to their free bin. And anyone can just look through the free bin at any time and take what they want. No questions asked, no money exchanged hands. It's pretty cool. 99% of the time I don't find anything I'm interested in, but over the past couple months, I have found a couple of them. First one being Domes of Fire by David Eddings. It's book one of the Tamuli series. David Eddings is an old school fantasy author. Might never even read this, but it was free. The second book is Before the Storm by Michael QB McDowell. I think is how you pronounce his name. Uh, this is book one of the Black Fleet Crisis. This is my first mass market for a Star Wars book, and I wouldn't have paid any money for it, but I didn't have to pay money, so I decided to get it. I've been wanting to read the Black Fleet Crisis books anyways, and they're a little bit harder to find because they're more old school. Then I picked up the science fiction analog, which is which was like published in the 70s. It's almost like a magazine in a book form. Uh, they have have like title pictures and like advertisements in it. This has works by Larry Nevin, Joe Haldeman, and Catherine McLean. Never heard of Catherine McLean, but I have heard of and read Joe Haldeman before. And I actually just recently picked up another book by uh, Larry Nevin, so if I like him, I have something else to read. I always tell my wife that I have no luck left in me, that I've already used up whatever luck I did have when I was younger, because her and I are constantly entering in giveaways, mostly for book-related stuff, and it seems like every month or so she wins something, and I never do. I entered a giveaway. It was a giveaway for two books, and I was one of six people that entered, so I literally had a 33% chance of winning, which you can't get any higher on a giveaway, and I didn't win that one. However, I did win Prince of Fools by Mark Lawrence, which is book one of the Red Queen's War, and it normally would be kind of cool because even though it's a mass market paperback, I have been wanting to read Mark Lawrence. However, it's not all that cool because like three or four days before I found out that I'd won this, I bought Prince of Fools by Mark Lawrence, book one of the Red Queen's War. So even when I get lucky, I'm not all that lucky, but still, I'll probably end up giving this one away, maybe on my channel, maybe to a friend of mine if, any, if there's any interest, we'll see. Stay tuned for that, maybe. Star Wars The Old Republic Revan by Drew Karpashian. I've already read and put up a review video, which I'll link below. Also read and reviewed two other books in here, which I'll also link below if I forget to mention that. The Deadlock Trilogy by P.T. Hilton, who is also an awesome booktuber. Regulation 19 is book one. A Place Without Shadows is book two. The Broken Clock is book three. I've already read and reviewed all these in one video. They're awesome. I would highly, highly recommend it. He's an awesome independently published author that I really think you should support. Seconds to Play, which is book 12 in the Chip Hilton Sports Series by Coach Claire B. I read a couple of these when I was younger and have recently decided I want to collect and read all of them. Uh, they're awesome, awesome books if you are into sports books at all or you have any younger kids or know any younger kids, I would very highly recommend these books. The Sea Wolf, which is another book that I've already read and posted a review if you're interested in hearing my thoughts, uh, by Jack London. White Fang by Jack London. The Call of the Wild by Jack London. Quicker Than the Eye by Ray Bradbury. I've never even heard of this book, but it's Bradbury and I'm convinced it will be good. The Fault in Our Stars by John Green. This is a book I very hesitantly want to read. 
Uh, I would have had no interest in it, but I started following John Green and his brother Hank's uh, YouTube channel, and I really like him. And I fully expect to hate this because it's young adult contemporary, and that is the least appealing genre on the face of the earth to me. Because I, it's basically about teenage drama in modern time, and I live in modern time surrounded by teenage drama. Even though I don't interact with any teenagers, I know it's there. So I don't really want to read about it, but I am going to give it a chance just because it's John Green. And I might be totally blown away with it, that's a possibility. Um, don't know when I'll get to this one though. Harry Potter, The Tales of Beetle the Bard by J.K. Rowling. If you've read the books, you know what this is. I didn't own it and I thought that was a crime. Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone by J.K. Rowling. I already own this in paperback and a hardcover, but I didn't own this edition. And frankly, I think it's a little bit weird that more people don't own three copies of this book. Footfall by Larry Nevin and Jeffrey Pernelli, I think. This is an old school science fiction book. And in case you cannot tell, that is an elephant with two trunks holding an assault rifle hiding from humans. What more could you want in a science fiction book, people? What more? Salem's Lot by Stephen King. Much to my shame, I've yet to read a Stephen King, and I decided like six or seven months ago that I wanted my first Stephen King to be Salem's Lot, and I've been trying to find it ever since then. And for an author whose books are everywhere, it took me a while to find this. And I'm not really super psyched about the cover, it's kind of boring, but I expect the book to be pretty good. Hopefully I'll get to this within a month or so. Now, I had been wanting to read some Joe Abercrombie for a while. I've been searching and couldn't find any. And then finally I found book one, two, and three of the first Law Trilogy at Second and Charles, and they were running a sell, so I got all three of them for like $5.25. It's really hard to beat. The first one is The Blade Itself. Book two is Before They Are Hanged. Book three is The Last Argument of Kings. This is something I want to read within the next month, month and a half. It, Lord willing, I don't know how to work out, but that is my goal. Empire by Scott Orson Card. I've never read anything by him either, but the synopsis of this book seems pretty interesting. It'll probably be a couple months before I get to it, but I am looking forward to it. Game of Thrones by George R. R. Martin. The first book in The Song of Fire and Ice. This is the only one I've actually completed. I started A Clash of Kings and just for whatever reason couldn't get through it. I want to continue to push on because I, again, I feel a little bit ashamed that I haven't read them. I own the first four, but they're in mass market paperback and this is trade paperback and I found it at Goodwill, so it was 50 cents. The last three I bought just a couple of nights ago at Books A Million in their clearance section, so they are all new but fairly cheap. First one is Star Wars, Star Wars Crucible by Troy Dinning. Second one is Star Wars Scoundrels by Timothy Zahn. If you know anything about the Star Wars universe, you know Timothy Zahn is basically a Palpatine-like god, so I had no choice but to buy this book. The last book is The Republic of Thieves by Scott Lynch. This is the third book in the Gentlemanly Bastards series. I own the first two, haven't read them yet, but I know I'm gonna like them just because of the types of things I've heard from his book. This is another, I want to start the series pretty soon. Hopefully I'll get around to it. Yeah, so that was 27 books. That's actually not even all the books my wife and I have bought over the past couple of months. I didn't include books my, my wife bought specifically for her to keep it a little bit shorter. We also buy a lot of uh, like Hardy Boy and Nancy Drew books because we collect books from the Stratemeyer Syndicate. And they're the book packaging firm that originally published Nancy Drew and Hardy Boys. And so we buy a lot of the modern spinoff series too. Um, but we have like three or four hundred Stratemeyer Syndicate books now. I don't normally post them because I don't know if there's a lot of interest. If for some reason you are interested in them, just let me know and I'll do a video or two going over the ones we own and maybe some cool facts that I picked up on. If you saw any book that you would like me to do a review on, please let me know and I'll bump that up a little bit higher on my TBR to try and accommodate you. If there are any of these books that you really think I should read, let me know and I'll bump it up. If you have bought any books lately that you're excited about and would like to tell somebody, please, I love people who are enthusiastic about books. I would love to hear it. If you're feeling real hardcore, you could always like this video or even subscribe to my channel. And I will see you all next time.